Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Steph and this is Ordinary Plant Girl. If you are new here, thank you for clicking on this video and please consider subscribing. And if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back and spending more of your time with me. Um, I actually feel a little under the weather today and I had a previous video that I was going to put up today actually and completely changed my mind and decided to go with something else. So I am refilming now. Um, so today I wanted to talk about some of the requests for plant updates that I have received and I didn't really think about it before but I really haven't shown uh, what has happened to those previous plants. So that is what I'm going to do today. Uh, what do we have on the list? Um, let's start off with I did a video last summer and it was about my Bloody Mary that spent 18 days in a box. Um, on really hot days of the summer, I was surprised that it even survived. I will attempt, attempt to insert footage of this. Not overly skilled with that, but I'm gonna try. Um, but uh, yeah, so it spent 18 days in a box from Ontario to here. I wasn't notified that the plant had been uh, shipped. There was no tracking sent, anything like that. So I didn't know that the plant had shown up in my community mailbox. And when I went to get it, I was terrified. So hopefully I did manage to at least insert a photo of what this plant looked like um, when it came out of the box and when it recovered. But I'm going to show you what it looks like now. So this is what we have remaining, remaining of my Philodendron Bloody Mary. It's just a tiny little piece that I managed to salvage. Um, if you've been with me for a while, and I'm, I've probably said it in close to every video at this point because I have realized how bad terracotta is for my growing habits, um, my plant parenthood. And this was no exception to the rule. I had put, everything was fine. The plant was growing fine. It had a nice west facing window. It was, it was surviving. It was, it was great. And then I went to up pot it and I put it in a terracotta pot. And that was the downfall of the Bloody Mary. So this is all I currently have left of it. I did try to salvage as much of it as I could and this is the only piece of it that survived. So I do still have the plant. It's just not in its beautiful glory that it was when I got it. And I'm hoping that I can bring it back somehow. I mean, it has been just over a year, maybe a year, just over a year now since that entire thing happened. And this is all I've got left. So it's gonna be a long road. I just watered her as well. It's going to be a long road, but I'm hoping that uh, she survives it. I really, really hope she survives it. Okay, what do we have next? Okay, this one was another ask. Um, a while back, I got which for me was just an amazing, an amazing find. Um, was my philodendron majesty. I love this plant. I babied this plant. And again, not only did I put it in a terracotta pot, I probably put it in a terracotta pot that was too big for it because of the issues that I had with terracotta and I didn't have plastic ones at the time. Now, this problem though, once I show you, might actually not have been the pot that was the problem. It still probably could have grown better in a different pot, but I won't blame the terracotta on this one. Um, I'll insert footage if I have it, I don't even know. I should have uh, at least pictures of this one from when I got it. Um, but this one has quite a unique thing going on here. So let me show you. So, oh, this, is my Philodendron Majesty. So 
It did have three leaves, three or four when I got it, I can't quite remember. But at some point after I put it in this extreme large pot, hoping that it would stay moist longer, which it eh, kind of did, um, she had trouble putting out new leaves. They, they got stuck in a way that I could not help. I couldn't help, I tried to help release the leaves, but if you can see this here, I don't know how well you can see it, but there is still currently a shoot trapped in here, and we're talking four or five months now. There is absolutely nothing I could do to help this plant. But on her own, she popped out this little cluster of leaves here, um, I am hoping that, I don't know if you can see, there's just a little, you can see that little green shoot there, which is still trying to come out. Um, after I saw how stuck it was, I decided that I wasn't going to put any more pressure on this plant and I just left it. I had pretty much decided that I was going to lose it. Um, it had lost the previous leaf. This was the only one that was left. It's still okay, thank goodness, probably because it's got all of this going on in here. Um, but what I noticed yesterday, and I don't know if I can show you this, I'll probably have to insert um, footage, but I believe, and this is why plants are amazing, that with all of this going on, she thought she wasn't gonna make it. So I don't know if you, you probably can't see it. You can't see it, you can't see it. There's a tiny, 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 tiny little green leaf right in there. So this plant actually shot out a whole new shoot, or it's trying to. And I didn't notice it until yesterday when I, when I watered it. Just this tiny little, I'm gonna move that, see if I can make it easier. Um, easier for you to see what can you oh yeah there you go can you see that that tiny little leaf I noticed yesterday that's pushing out of there and it, it just shows me that she knew she had to go into survival mode and even though she's got this cluster going on here and still got that one trapped right in there she wanted to survive and she pushed out another one so <laughs> This plant just absolutely amazes me and is completely worth everything that we've been through so far. I still can't wait for it to get big, but I am so patient. I can wait for this to happen. I am all over this. So that is my philodendron majesty. Okay, what do we have next? Besides dirt all over myself. Okay, the next ones, the next two that I've got here are currently rehabbing in prop boxes, or in the same prop box. But I was asked about my tiny wee gloriosum, my, my wee little gloriosum that had struggled. Now, We've got quite the we've got quite the thing going on in here. Okay, so I'm gonna pull it out. It's probably gonna be a, a really bad idea, but all I can say is that this little plant has not given up yet. So I'm gonna leave it in here as long as possible. But let oh oh well, would you look at that? Okay, so. This is what's left of my first Gloriosum, my tiny wee little Gloriosum. And that leaf looks awfully white, probably because it's, it's a little bit bleached from being under um, a grow light, but the leaf, itself, <laughs> the leaf itself is still pretty firm. Um, I keep trying to... The roots that I see, the roots that I see on it have literally done 
absolutely nothing. They haven't grown. Part of me actually feels like they died, but if you can see just off the back of that, there's an itty bitty tiny little leaf there that has grown. It is so small. This entire little Galeriosum is so small. And I will keep trying um, until it gives up completely. I'm going to leave it in here and hope that it survives. Because it's, do you ever find that you bond with the plants that you struggle the most with? That's what, that's how I feel. I feel like the ones that I have to give all the extra care to are the ones that I, I bond with the most. And that one is definitely being my first Gloriosa and my first experience with it. Um, the fact that it just, it is what it is right now and I still have hope for it. We've, we've bonded, we have bonded. But also in this prop box uh, is a syndapsis that I got don't even remember. I'm not even going to try to remember when I got them anymore because I never can. Um, I got it from an Etsy seller. I had ordered a Syndapsis Silver Splash and a Syndapsis Exotica. When I got them, they were they were mush. They had pretty much died. All the leaves fell off. They had died back to wet sticks. Um, I believe I had four wet sticks, two of each. And then three of those wet sticks died. And I was left with one and I couldn't remember which one it was. So either way, I don't have either of them. Um, I was looking for an Exotica, um, but I, I don't have either of those Scandapsis. So whichever one this is, it's my mystery. I, I will be happy. That'll be fine. So when, when the last leaf died off it, and it grew, you know, it took, took a while, but it grew a new leaf, but the roots died. It was just a big, a big thing. I don't know why that happened, but all the roots died off. Um, it was a very, very, very juvenile piece that was left. I had absolutely no hope for this plant coming back at all um, because I figured that the, the roots and the, the nodes were just too young to survive. That's rid of the prop box and I left it there. So, oh, it's rooted. Okay then. So in here, my little prop box, you're gonna see that, maybe I should turn it this way. Don't mind all the other stuff in here. But this one right here is my Scandapsis. We don't know what it is. Um, it is currently though pushing out a new leaf. And that is fantastic and so amazing. I don't see any roots on the bottom, but the, it's definitely rooted in there. Now it's not old enough still to see the pattern on the leaves for me to be able to tell which syntaxis it is. And as much as I want an exotica, I kind of hope it's the silver splash. But I guess we'll find out, hopefully I can find out from that new leaf, because it's gonna unfurl soon, which is great. Uh, what else do I have in here? I've got, so this, which is another update that I can do, is a piece of my Monstera Subpanata. Um, it was kind of a runner that had come off it. Oh, you can't see anything, what is happening here? Okay, this one right here is a piece of my Monstera Subpanata. This piece as well is a piece of it, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything, so that's fine. This here is a piece of my Squamiferum, and it was just, I had a top cutting and a um, wet stick node cutting, and that actually shocks me because that was not out before, but yes. So happy that I've got another little baby swamp bear. Um, and then I've got my Syndapsis Silverian cuttings there as well. Um, one looks like it's gonna push out a leaf. 
and a little baby Gloriosum, but this is just my miscellaneous, I'm gonna leave you there forever type prop box. Okay, so now that was the Gloriosum and the Scandapsis. I think I have one more to show you. And this one surprised me as well. So I can't wait to show you this. Okay guys, so this last one that I have here was one that I didn't expect to, I didn't expect to want. Um, I also didn't expect it to die, being that it's a Monstera. Um, but I, I do have to say that I'm kind of happy with, with what happened in the end. So we'll take it out of here, the cash pull. So this is my Monstera Pinata Partita. Okay, so you can see here, it dropped all of its leaves. I think, I think it only had one or two in the end, lost that leaf. Uh, I didn't do anything except for just continue to water it because the, um, the rest of the stem was still green. There seemed to be no deterioration. It wasn't yellow, wasn't yellowing, anything like that. But now, now, since I put it next to the grow light on the arrow garden, because that is a failed experiment that I'll have to go over another time, there are three active growth points on this plant. Three of them. And whoops, that makes me so unbelievably happy. Possibly even four. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But it is getting ready to push out leaves and I'm so excited about this. So excited. So I guess what I have here are all kind of little comeback stories. Um, I think it's interesting that the plants that I was asked about for updates, I guess maybe because I hadn't shown them for a while, I had a, a couple of people that were like, hey, you know, what happened to this? Um, but yeah, I didn't even think about showing those updates because for me, it hadn't been enough progress, except for the majesty, because that one just completely, the whole situation with that and the, the leaf getting stuck and how the plant is surviving really interests me. And the fact that it threw out that, like that other little shoot, I can't wait to see as that gets bigger too. Um, and just the, the ones that have had so much trouble, um, I mean, not even, not even the Bloody Mary or the Panetta Partita have, like they have stories. The Panetta Partita probably has the least amount of a story compared to the, the other ones that I showed, but still they just, they haven't given up. And I guess that's, that is pretty much the theme of, of this plant update is that these plants have not given up and they amaze me by how willing they are to survive. So, I mean, I've, I'll probably come back in a couple of months. I'm gonna try to be a little bit better with, with the updates. So I will try to come back in a couple of months and show you guys where they are all at now. And I better write this down so I don't forget it after we're done. Um, and since we are on the topic of updates, this might keep me a little bit more on track, but I think that next week's video, I am going to give you an update on my Monstera Stendliana and the propagations that I took from that plant and just how it is growing overall. Maybe because now I've thrown it out there, I will be more inclined to make sure that uh, that happens. So with that being said, I hope you're all safe and well, and please like and consider subscribing to my channel. Leave any comments below. Um, I've got a few regulars now, and that makes me extremely happy. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.